So today I'm excited. I'm finally putting in the automatic open doors on my Model Y. We know we had the Model X before and they would open up as you walk up to the car. The front doors would open up and that was a cool feature. You put your foot on the brake and they would close. My friends over at Handshow has developed this kit that can do the same thing for the Model 3 and the Model Y. Right now I'm going to show you what the product can do. Then I'm going to go into what's involved in the, the whole kit and then we're going to install it. So here's how to use it. So there's a bunch of different ways to open the door. You can just push the button and it'll open up. Now there's no sensor like in a Model X where it, it could hit something. So you kind of have to be careful of that. To close the door, you can just push the button on the handle. Or you can walk away and it'll just close after a while after there's the disconnect from your phone. Or you can use the key card. Well, that locked it. But you can unlock it with a key card. Once you get in, you can push this button again or just put your foot on the brake. See ya. To open it back up again, you just push that button. You don't have to do anything. But the really nice thing is I can set this where I want it. So if I want it to open up farther, it can. This set to a comfortable distance. Now if I put my foot on the brake, it starts to close. If I stop it at any point, it's going to stop. But if I push it again, it's going to close. And this whole process works with the window down as well. So I thought of a couple of the questions you might have. What if there is something in the way? Does it continue to push them out of the way? So let me stand here. And it nudged me, but it completely stopped. And it beeped to let me know, yes, this would damage a car probably, but it's not going to continue to push on that car. Or what if your finger or something sensitive gets in the way? Just kidding, it's a hot dog. But your finger, it would stop and it would just be able to open the door. It's not that much pressure. Now this is a little drastic. Don't, don't get in your car nude. Or YouTube, this was just a joke, so don't demonetize this. It's just for fun. Now on the passenger side, we have a button. I can open the passenger door just by holding down on this. You have to hold it and you can stop it at any point in time. So if there's a car next to you, you can stop it. Push it once, it closes. But you do have to hold it the entire time it opens up. So you just push and hold it. And it can open up all the way. So as someone's walking up to the car, say it's raining, you can have the door ready for them. And then when they get in, you can actually hit the button and close it for them. Now you can put these buttons anywhere you want on the screen or on the dash. You can mount them back here, which actually wouldn't be bad. You get two of them. You get one for the driver's door, which you don't really need because you, you just put your foot on the brake and it closes. So I actually left that down inside here. And that's how you adjust where you want this to open. You hold it for three seconds and it'll only open that far. I didn't do it to the driver's side because you never know who's getting in, but this is perfect for me. I can just hit the button, or the brake, I should say, and it closes. And it opens up. Now what I like to do, is I like to use this button to close the door as I walk away from it. But if you want to, you can get a little nudge, and it'll close. I'm sure that triggered a lot of people. I use my foot but it's a wrap and it's got PPF on it and it's my car, it's not yours. Same thing on this side. Just give it a little nudge and it'll go the rest of the way. If you have the remote for the car, I don't have a remote because my phone works all the time, but if you have the remote, you can actually hit the lock button on the remote and everything will close, both doors, as you're walking away. If you leave the doors open and you walk away, it'll time out and close themselves as well. I don't use that, I use my phone, it works all the time. If you have the auto presenting doors with this feature, you can just pull on the door handle and they'll open up. But I don't have those either. Those are kind of cool. But now that I said that, Handshow will probably send those out as well. And this also works with the key ring, the Tesla ring. You can put this on your finger, you can put this on to the, the door pillar. And I don't know if I have this programmed to this car. I think I was playing around with it. But you can program it 
and yeah it's not programmed to this car it was programmed to the model 3 never did a program it to this but you can use the key ring as well this one's customized this is i1 tesla on the inside uh, you won't be able to see that so i think this is really cool i wish i would have put this in before but i did have covid when this got sent out to me but it's really awesome the other part that's really nice is if you're using the key fob or the phone if you just hit the unlock button just the driver's side opens up you don't want both sides to open up if you're by yourself which most of the time you're by yourself getting into your car and i did verify online you can see that you can select the soft closed doors because it comes with the soft closed doors so if you don't have the soft closed doors like i had before then you order it with the soft closed doors i think it's like 300 dollars more but if you already have the soft closed doors you get to save some money order the kit install it it's not very difficult like i'm going to show you in a little bit here because that's i'm doing this out of sequence obviously that's done already but follow the directions they have great directions online they update them constantly and i'm going to show you some pointers on how to make it work a little bit better for you you can actually close it from this button or this button but it's easier just to hit the button and walk away and it closes kind of like a model x now it's like a mini model x now hand show you get to work on those rear doors to swing up think you could do it they probably can so right here is the kit laid out on a table and it's looks very intimidating because there's a lot of wiring here now this is for both front doors these are the mechanisms that will open the door so this little actuator here this it's a just basically a corkscrew that will move this in and out this will attach to the door and it'll open the door well for that to work you need these the soft closed doors which we've already installed in the car i have those on these doors and let me show you how that works soft close say you open the door you don't close it all the way it's going to close for you so that mechanism is going to be part of this so i don't have to do that then they also send this is a power wire so we're going to hook up to the battery this goes to the autopilot computer that's just getting the signals uh, when the car can turn on and everything these are actual buttons so you have buttons on the inside that you can use there's multiple ways of using this i'm going to show you all the different ways but this will have buttons on the inside so i don't know where i'm gonna put these yet but you can open and close the door for your passenger which is really nice this is the wiring harness that goes inside the door it's really just connecting and reconnecting there's like duplicate things here uh, because you're just having jumping wires in between uh, but the big plugs go to the main computer for each door this is the front right door uh, you also get a wire fish and everything you need to install this and so there shouldn't be a very hard part to this it's just a lot of tedious work um, pr probably the hardest part is going to be fishing the wires in through this hose let me show you i'm gonna, be, I'm gonna get a light but we're gonna have to run wire across here through here into the door once we remove the door panel uh, this part isn't very difficult here it's once we pop this off we'll have to fish a line through we'll disconnect to here and disconnect to here and kind of just the wire there's wires in there that's gonna be the hardest part uh, after that it should be pretty easy because the model y is actually easier to work on than the model 3 they've done different things to the door panels to make it easier and uh, we're gonna get started So what I did there was just remove, this is the pull tab for your safety pull strap. And then I removed the, the wires that attach into the door. You really can't screw these up by putting them back. I am going to disconnect this though, because once I remove, this is for the, the mirror there. Once I, we can, we're going to take this whole panel off. So good thing I watched this really good YouTube channel, I Want Tesla. He actually took this door apart before, this exact door. And I learned something here. <laughs> I do have to take the glass out. So uh, the glass is not hard to take out. I just mark where it goes and then you unbolt right here and right here, the glass slides out super easy. And then you take these two out. And the easy part that I remember is the window regulator attaches to this instead of taking it apart and trying to piece it back together inside there like the Model 3. Uh, this is actually pretty easy to do. So I've got all those out, but it's held in place by the window regulator so i'm gonna first i'm gonna mark where it goes i'm gonna put some masking tape on the window here draw a line put a line here and whatever and then we're, i'm going to remove this piece and 
then take these out and then this whole piece will come out. You should check out that channel, I1 Tesla. He's a really cool dude and uh, he does a lot of great customization stuff to his car. So once you remove the window, I would remove the window before taking all these out and then you take remove the black 10 millimeter sockets and then you can remove all of this. And the window regulator comes out with everything, which is really nice. Um, with the Model 3, you end up taking this apart inside the window or inside the door, and it's just kind of a pain. We're gonna swing this down, pop these off. Just gonna swing that out of the way. And let me show you inside. Now what you can do in the meantime is, this has some sound dampening material. You can put some more in here. Uh, Tesla does put some in here and there's room for a little bit more. This is just a uh, membrane that can muffles the sound, kind of like the foam inside the tires. And then this is just a, a large crash bar. This thing is super heavy duty. But you can take a piece, which I might actually do, and uh, put a piece here. So you can see there's not much room inside here to mess around with things, but we're gonna be in there for sure. We're gonna be disassembling this. There's, this has more room than it, than, than it does in the Model 3, but we're gonna have to snake some wires through there, back in there, which is not gonna be fun. Now that is totally separate. I already have uh, the video that showed how to remove the glass, information on how to do that. And I'm gonna leave all this attached to the door panel because I don't have to take it off. We could take it off completely, but that can just sit over there on the side. And then since I have the front open, I'm gonna disassemble the battery, which will turn everything off here. All you have to do is just pull this, pull this up. We're gonna unscrew the negative side of the terminal of the battery. And then on the Model Y, we're going to pull this switch here, which will disconnect the main pack from charging that 12 volt battery. And it's just a 10 millimeter. I'm just gonna pull up on this. And you notice nothing turns off right away. I'm gonna set this out of the way so it doesn't connect to it again. Once we come over here, we pull this red tab and then push on it behind it. You hear a big pop and now the car is shut off. Now there's nothing feeding the 12 volt battery, nothing feeding any of the electronics. And then the main pack is not feeding power to the 12 volt battery. We make sure this door is open and the front is open before we do that. Now, if you have a big enough space, you do the same thing on the other side. You can do both sides at the same time uh, with that door open, but we're gonna do this side first, have the wires over there ready to go, and later on we'll do that door. The next step is to remove these three bolts here. There's one here, here, and then this one. That's what's holding the door from swinging. Well, the hinge is also holding it from swinging all the way open, but you remove these. These are just some, some nuts here, and that is a T40. We're gonna remove that, and then the, this section will be free, but that's what the motor hooks up to. This is it's kind of what's stopping the door in the different presets. Next up is to install the motor, which is gonna move this back and forth. Uh, basically that goes where that was there. This slides in from the inside and then we use the same bolts, I believe, I'll have to check the thing. But we use the bolts and we put this right into place with the motor sitting up. Hopefully there's enough room for it. Yeah, it looks like there's plenty of room for it. This is the left side and we wanna wrap the wires around and down so they go back to where the controllers are gonna go, which is probably in the bottom over here. We're gonna put everything, I'll put the controllers down there. Let me see if I can explain the wiring to you so you're not super confused with it. Uh, I've got it laid out on the floor so you can see. So basically I have it laid out like I have the car over here. What we have, I'll go through this. So if I'm looking inside the front, this is the power, this is the positive and the negative. We're gonna run this through the power wall and then one side is power for the one door, the passenger side. This is power for the driver's side. This. This plugs into the autopilot computer. Now this is just a jumper and you've seen me do this before with the screens on the dash. That's gonna get the signals over to the doors on when to do what they need to do. There's one side for the passenger side and one side for the driver's side. <clears throat> now if we flip around here, this is the button that goes inside. So we're gonna feed this into. So these four wires here need to go through that grommet into the door. So this is what we'll be feeding inside. And you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. 
This wiring harness is for everything inside the door. Some of these are for on the outside portion that just plug and play. This is just like a, a jumper thing where you plug one side into the factory side and then the other side in there. Uh, these wires connect to some of those over there. Then you have the brains the, uh, right there. And then that is the door, the soft close section and to allow it to close itself. Hopefully that made sense. Um, it's really not very difficult. You have to run through the firewall to the battery, which there's some grommets in there on the passenger side. Not very difficult to do is just take some time, take some... So I got the four wires in. I was able to run two at a time through this grommet. It's uh, not too difficult. You just have to be careful, take your time. And I did use, what did I use here? I used some um, spray wax, loosened things up. There are a lot of thin wires at the bottom through here. So be careful when it comes through because the wire fish can go in between them and then you really, you don't want to rip something apart. So these wires are inside the door already. I ran them of course through here. I'm going to pop this panel off the other panel and feed everything across. That way I can go into the autopilot computer and get through the firewall. Uh, and looks like I have to turn the car back on to do that, but not a problem because I'm not hooking up to the battery right away. So I, I don't know why I turned the car off. Don't need to. So, so don't turn the car off yet because you might need to open the door or something like that. And I'm going to have to be over there. So yeah, <laughs> because getting to the autopilot computer is a little difficult. You've seen the, in the past when I put the screen up on the dash here, I had to lay upside down to, to get up in there. And uh, that wasn't that fun, but it's doable. It's definitely doable. There's plugs that can only go together. The only thing you don't plug in is this. Um, my, the writing on mine is in Chinese. I don't know what it says, but uh, this is the only thing you don't plug into. You plug in here to the switch. Once you hook everything up there, um, this, these are plugged into here. This will run, which is this blue one here, and that will make sure everything works. Now, I'm gonna tidy everything up. I'm gonna uh, zip tie things together, put the controller down here out of the way, and just make sure everything is out of the way because the window comes this side so you don't want to put things onto this you want to make sure it's away from everything and make sure all the wires are tucked down as low as possible and then put everything back the way you had it I, what i did was i ran the wire uh, i have this wire here that i'm going to put into somewhere i just ran this is for the button and i have the other button run into underneath here i have not touched that side yet but I want to get this side working and then I'm going to move over to that side. I have not plugged in the, I haven't plugged into the battery yet, but I have hooked up to the computer over there. And then I popped through the firewall. Let me show you, let me show you where I put. So on the Model Y, there is actually a grommet right in here. It's actually just on mine anyway. Mine's, a, my VIN number's a 409, so yours might be different. But right here, you see my shadow, not my finger. Well, I guess right there is where my finger is. Uh, right there was a just a foil uh, cap. There wasn't even a grommet there. I just poked a hole through there, and then I used some material to seal it off there. I ran the wire up over, and I haven't plugged it in yet, but this inline fuse, and that will go positive and negative, and then we will have power. And we will have power to the system. I suggest getting one of these lights. It is a lifesaver because with the dark carpet, it is dark in there, it's hard to see. But these panels come off really easily. You're able to uh, put everything behind the carpet. Really easy to run all the wires and uh, do a clean job. But I'm gonna put everything back together, put the glass back in, and let's see if this works. So it's actually pretty awesome, I like it. Now I'm gonna work on the other side. I wish I can get rid of that beep. I'm gonna look to see if I can get rid of the beep on the other one. I really don't like that. Now this door is put back together. I just have to put this part back together. And now I'm gonna work on the other side. One of the things I found that works a little easier is unhook all of these um, clips. I just have this sitting here. And you're able to feed this through the door quite a bit. So now you're able to straighten this out a lot, which really helps with fishing those wires through. And again, you can just do one wire at a time. I did two wires at a time and it worked okay. It was a little little difficult, but, uh, but yeah, you can easily get to it if you do that. And then just make sure you clip those back into place, otherwise your door might rattle a little bit. I've taken my door apart already to do the soft closed doors. I've taken my car quite a... Oh. 
Well, that just closed on its own. That had been open for a while. I wonder if I got a notification on my phone that the door was open. No. Yeah. I must be timed out for uh, when the screen turns off because the screen is off now. The door's been open for quite a while. Uh, interesting. It's kind of nice. And the door and the car locked up because I do have it set to lock when I'm at home just in case I do leave it outside. That's pretty cool. So if you leave your door open, you forgot to close it, it's gonna close on its own. Glad you were here with me. You could experience it with me. Instead of me being confused, I was able to walk it, talk it through with you. And well, I figured out why it locked up because this door was open here, but I pushed the lock all the way, I pushed the lock in so the window would go all the way up, which made the car think the door was closed. And that's how you wanna do that to really get to these bolts easier. And with that, the car thought, well, it's been timed out. Everything's closed up. I should probably lock the doors because it shows locked on the screen here. And yes, the car's pink because we we're playing with some colors. It's actually more of a peach. So the car closed the other door because everything was closed and it was ready to lock up and go to bed. So I think this is really good because you can, you can just push the button on the door and it's gonna open for you, which is really cool. You have someone that you're picking up, you push and hold the button and it's gonna open up and you can stop it at any point. But if you just push it once, it's gonna close. It's, it's like, it's like hands-free. You can drive without doing anything. You can open your doors without doing anything. And the cool part is, the cool part is you get out, you push the button and you just keep walking. It's gonna close for you and you just take off. Thank you.